so you're 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 dealing here with really interesting subject matter with the smells, the senses of how how soldiers experience uh, the prison camps. But it's sort of also kind of like where do you find this? I mean, as you, you, we don't have an archive with a jar. Oh, here's smell from Andersonville, or here's smell from Elmira, or um, here's a jar of the dirt that had piled up in the camps. How do you get to those kinds of experiences? What kind of sources are you looking at? Well, it, sensory history, thankfully, does not require a new archival base, right? You, any, any prisoner diary, uh, any prisoner memoir, uh, some prisoner letters uh, will reference the, the senses in one way or, or another, um, sometimes explicitly, right, mm -hmm. talking about the, uh, you know, foul odors, uh, sometimes implicitly uh, through the metaphor, uh, particularly animalizing metaphors, right, you know, hog pens, right. Um, right. stables, um, or, uh, or through things like, like the air. Right. They're talking about close confinement or fresh air or foul air. Um, so it doesn't require a new source space, but it does require, you know, as you say, you know, the archivists don't make notes in the, uh, about this, this one is going to tell you about the smell. Mm -hmm. um, right. But it, it's the it's, it's manuscript diaries are full of this stuff. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and so I was following those deep, detailed descriptions of daily life. Um, and then organizing the chapters around that, right? So that's why there's not, you know, it's not organized by place, it's not organized chronologically, uh, it's organized uh, thematically uh, through, um, through one or, or more senses you know, per chapter.